Brad, what do you know about Build-A-Bear? I know they're in malls. They're, I see them. I walk past them. There's a store in the mall where you can go and basically make your own bear. Make your own. All right. You go in. You pick a body, a husk, if you will. A <laughs> bear husk. You just a bear skin. Right. You go to the machine, and um, it's just like all this fluff, and it shoots fluff into the, the bear. Injection molding the fluff. And you can get any type of bear you want. You can either have like an anorexic bear. You can have like a, a busting at the seams. Hello, I'm a bear. <laughs> exactly. You can put like um voice boxes in them so I can have a voice or you can not have a voice. Mute. Which is weird. You can make mute bears. I want a mute bear. But what I think is interesting, Brad, I don't know if you know this, is they give each bear a heart. What? You, no joke, man. Whoa. They take a little plastic heart or something. And what you do is you rub it on top of your heart. Okay. Thus giving the bear life. I'm not making this up. And then you give the heart back to the, to the person that's helping you. Why is Build a Bear Workshop a voodoo? Well, wait, wait, fucking... wait, 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 wait. Listen, listen, listen. And then they put that heart inside, <laughs> sew it inside of the bear. So that bear has a piece of your heart with it. That's creepy. That is, that is weird, isn't it? That is creepy. I didn't know this. They have birth certificates. Oh, fuck that. Dude, I mean. Really, when I heard that, I was like, are you kidding me? First thing we like to do is after we've taken your bear husk and we inject it mold with fluff, then we like to take this heart, you rub it on your heart, then we put the heart inside the bear so that he has life. What? <laughs> And the, the they just call this monster <laughs> fucking bear place. I'm assuming there's just like those electric wires, like zzz, thing goes there's up a like Tesla a, coil. Yeah, there's there's a Tesla, Tesla coil. coil. Build a bear workshop. They open up the roof and you like <laughs> bring the chains up, and it is Frankenstein monster. It's wrong. Just hit it and he primes it back. It's wrong. Down. It's morally wrong what they're doing. Dude, I just thought that was so weird. Why would you? Why would you even start to install that in a kid? I don't know. That's just gonna fuck kids up. I really that's, wish- why, that's why albinos are getting killed in Africa. It's a build a bear workshop. <laughs> they slaughter an albino. All the, it's like, all right, let's give him life. And there's an albino. No, please, no. What do you think that fluff's made out of? What do you think that fluff's made out of? Oh, no. Albino magics. Guys, we got to put a stop to build a bear. Oh, fuck because these fuckers. It's evil voodoo magic. It's evil voodoo magic. We magics. all know it's 2010 almost. 2010. Magic isn't real. <sighs> Hate to rain on your parade, guys, but it's not. It's the 21st fucking century. Yeah. Magic stop. hasn't ever been real. No, never. You crazy foreign tours. Stop using it to try to bring bears to life. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. We got enough bears in the world, all right? Oh. Dude, but one of the big appeals of uh, Build-A-Bear right. is that once you're done, you know, bringing your bear to life, installing it with your own soul, becoming a god of bears, right. you get to accessorize it. That's where they make their money. Because I, I think, I don't know how much it costs, maybe 30 bucks to build a bear, which is kind of expensive when you think about it, yeah. for just a normal teddy bear. But then you buy clothes for it. Like, do I want my bear to be a cheerleader? Do I want it to be a fireman? Wow. Do I want it so then, a policeman? Then we fetishize our... Our bears. Our voodoo bear. You basically put yourself into a bear's body because you're giving it your heart. You're, and to those you're people, Putting that's your the same soul as with your a consciousness. Bear. Yeah. Yeah. You put your heart of hearts. You separate yourself. If for your Harry Potter fans, you're making a horcrux with a bear. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> um, that, that way you never die and you can come back in a bear's body, but you can come back anything you want. You could be a nurse. Wow. You could be an artist. I'm sure they have artist outfits. What do they even mean? I'm sure they have emo bears. How wouldn't that oh, be weird? Emo bear. Hey, we'll talk about emo bear. Hey. Hey. Emo bear, no one understands me. No one gets me. Whatever, bear. My soul's broken. Yeah, because you, you have half a soul. Because you only got half a soul. Of a child. You only got half a child, so that's worth nothing on the black market. So, Brad, I got a question for you. Right. What happens when those most teddy bears get, like, eaten by the house dog? Or, like, get run over by a lawnmower? <sighs> Does part of that child die? Oh, that's, oh man. Oh, manzies. Because part of that soul? <laughs> part of your soul isn't that bad. That, oh, that's scary. Are these kids going to, like, take that bear with them for the rest of their lives? And be like, oh, no, man. Like, are they going to college? Part of my soul's in there, dog. Part of my soul. Please yeah. Be careful with that. That's part it's of my your, soul. It's your first year in college. You're just in the dorms. You're excited. Right. It's a co-ed dorm. You're, yeah. you're checking that hot chick across the way out she's like hey what's up she comes over to party and you know you start getting busy on your uh, bunk bed because you're right. in college yeah exactly uh, your roommate's out he's a whatever he's a loser uh, he's oh, just lame what a failure all Ooh. he does is push his bangs out of his face and <sighs> talks about he's gonna be an actor um but you know she lays you know she lays back in bed he's like ow and you're like what's up and she pulls your teddy bear out and she's like what's this it's like oh that's my teddy bear that's, that's my teddy bear you have a teddy bear and you're like it's part of my soul 18 years old it's oh, part of my, my soul's soul. in there she's like excuse me <laughs> part of my, that's my horcrux that's my horcrux <laughs> that's my horcrux it's, but she'll know what you're talking about because she also has a horcrux right. she's like is it a good idea to give kids horcruxes hey stop giving kids horcruxes stop doing it it's wrong it is wrong it's weird it's fucking weird then what happens like what, what happens when they die and that bear is just still rolling around could you transport? Could you transport the heart into another bear? Oh, 
Yeah. What if there was like a build a bear hospital? Wait, what if you, you <laughs> pass? What if you pass these down the line? What if your kid gets it after you die? They put part of their soul in. Then there's a whole merged soul inside this. Then, then it becomes real. Then it becomes real. Then it's a real bear, oh, and then no. your kid's gonna get its head bitten off because there's a bear. <laughs> I think we talked. We talked about Care Bears. We talked about how dangerous bears on clouds are. Imagine a, a, a bear in your child's room, guys. You need to watch out for Build a Bear. What? All right, bears are dangerous. Ramjack is on top of this. <gasps> your Build a Bear comes to life. You're screwed. Yeah, they're fast and they're angry and they're mean and they're vicious. Be careful what you give your soul to. All right, guys. Be careful. <laughs> careful. Wow. I, I, but. Uh, Again, I was thinking of the Build a Bear Hospital and how crazy that would be. Wow. Do you want to fix things up? You got to take care of it. Because that kid's going to be crazy. It's like, something happened to my Horcrux. Oh my God. (laughs) Harry Potter's going to kill me. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to protect this from Harry Potter. (laughs) Harry Potter's are real. (laughs) Ah, my bear. My Horcrux is real, though. And his arm didn't get ripped off. (laughs) (laughs) That kid just looking at the bear's arm, looking at his arm, just screaming. Ah, ah, ah. So you gotta take it to the. You gotta take it to Build a Bear Hospital. Take it to Build a Bear Hospital. I know. I know. I'm pretty sure Build a Bear doesn't offer hospitals yet. <gasps> I know there's online sites that offer bear hospitals. Yeah, there are, which are pretty nuts. You sent me this link during the week. It's the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. Have you? Did you see the before and after pictures? Yes. It really looks like they just got new teddy bears. Yeah, it's I pretty much. I guess they took the stuffing. It. You basically send in your old bear. It, they show them. They look like beat up. Like there's like there's like eyes missing. Well, there were some that rolled over up. by a lawnmower. Like yeah. it was pretty much gutted. Yeah. And you send it in, and this person basically reconstructs a bear from scratch. Right. But in, in whoever's defense, I don't know who did it. They do a pretty good job. Yeah, yeah, it's dead accurate. It's pretty crazy. So props to them. But Build a Bear, you're missing out. This this lady, or I don't know who does. I'm assuming it's a woman. Um, sexist? No. That's a good question. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What if she steals the What if she steals the soul out of it? That's what she's doing. What if she's stealing souls? She's sitting in a bag, and it looks pristine and new, but inside is a pit, a pit of emptiness. There's no heart. There's in no there. soul in there. This woman is collecting souls. She saw soul harvesting. For what? I don't know. Oh, guys, watch. Don't be this careful. This sounds like a Freddy Krueger movie. Be careful <laughs> who you send your Horcrux bear to on the internet. All right? You should be careful on the internet to begin with. There's child predators out there. There's stalkers. And there's only so much Chris Hansen can do. He doesn't have time to watch over people's souls. <laughs> he's too busy watching over after their children. He's got some stuff to do in Texas right now, oh. guys. I'm just- God, he's got to get to Texas <laughs> take care of this man who's creeping out his granddaughter. It's weird. Guys, who is watching over our bear souls? Who, Brad? Ooh. Who watches? Who cares for the bears and their souls? <gasps> they need their own deity. Oh, I mean, when they gosh. get full souls in a couple of generations, yeah. I'm scared. But build a bear. I mean, we're, we got your eye, we got our eye on you. We're, but at yeah. the same time, just as a business model, open a hospital. True that. Open you could sell like emergency boxes to people just in case. You, you could have you a better, waiting room there, and you got kids I pacing mean, the floor. It helps them deal with death right. at an early age. And it helps the economy because you're going to have to buy qualified people to handle souls. Yeah. So Quick turnaround time. Can you yeah. imagine them having, like, bear surgeons come out? Can I speak to your son? You're, like, five-year-old. He, like, goes over there. You don't know if he's going to make it. Listen, save my uh, bear, please. Listen. Uh, Mr. Save my bear. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm a little, I want you to let you know. Uh, we're doing all we can for Mr. Mumbles, but uh, Mr. Mumbles. Uh, his, his arm was in pretty bad shape. We're going to be able to reattach it, but uh, it may never look the same, and it may not have the same mobility. His life's going to be different from now on. I mean, I I do not think he can carry on as a police officer. (laughs) I think you're going to need to go pick out another persona for him. It's time for him to retire from the force, son. (laughs) Uh, That's all right, as long as he's okay. I he, I think I think you know I think he could still uh, sit on the beach maybe a beach attire. You know I I would I would let him surf. I would let him surf. It's going to be a little too hard for him with the arm. But uh, he could definitely hang out on the beach, you know, and enjoy. He should enjoy, enjoy his retirement. Live out that pension. <laughs> wow, guys. You were missing out, Build a Bear. You need to open up a bear. Build a bear, get on it. We're, we're going to scoop them. We're going to scoop it. We're going to scoop them. Build a bear, you're warned. Hey. I mean, you didn't do it, so we're going to do it. Bear Hospital, open for business. And we promise we will not steal your children's souls. <laughs> <laughs> we promise. We don't even want your souls. No use for them. Yeah.